Comfy the Writer Bee, welcome back to my channel. Today is Vlogmas Day 12 and today I'm reading a Christmas story from my space world called Passage of Time. The Christmas music was playing over the loudspeakers. That was what it alerted me to the day it was. The music had been pre-programmed into the ship's computer centuries ago to play automatically on Christmas Day. We still celebrated the holidays that we'd grown up with every single year. It sometimes felt like the only true passage of time was when the music started playing for the holidays. I always thought it would eventually become meaningless, and I wasn't the only one that had thought that way. For some of the crew, it was true that the holidays had become meaningless for them, but that was not true for me. The further we got from home, the more Christmas had come to mean to me and my close friends on the ship. We broke off into small groups to celebrate Christmas like a family. I had spent 31 years on Earth celebrating with my family. Over 600 years celebrating in my AI body with the rest of the crew. This was my first Christmas where I'd been fully alone. It was tempting to wake George up from stasis just for this one day so I wasn't alone. I promised myself that I would only wake him once the ship was able to support his life. Besides, it wouldn't make for a very good Christmas with how I'd forced him into stasis against his will. I was in charge of making sure we had food supply for him when he did come out of stasis and that was still years away. The first plant had only started sprouting earlier this week. Merry Christmas, everyone! I greeted the stasis pods that were filled with the entire crew. I avoided looking at the pod that contained my body. It didn't feel right not to greet everyone, even though they couldn't speak back. I stuck to my normal routine and I checked if there were any changes in the conditions of the stasis pods. Merry Christmas, George. I don't have the garden or food ready yet. Hopefully not too many Christmases will pass by before I'm able to get you out of stasis. I spoke to George first every single day because he was the only one that was healthy enough to bring out of stasis. I spoke to the rest of my friends, changing the order each day, ending with Captain Dave every single time. I always greeted him after my friends. He'd always been nice to me. And then I'd finish wishing the rest of the crew a Merry Christmas. Next Christmas and probably the next Christmas would be the same as this one. With Christmas music blaring over the speakers for its lone occupant, me, as I continued growing plants. Ten Christmases had come and gone. With a well-established garden, I was able to decorate the space for Christmas for the first time, making wreaths out of the cutoffs of the plants that needed trimming and decorating everything around me. It was the most festive the ship had looked in a long time. It looked even more festive than when the crew had been around to decorate the ship. I was going to make sure we had a very festive ship when everyone came out of stasis. I hummed to the Christmas tunes as I started practicing cooking. I had food growing and had been preserving what I could. It was an entire new skill set to learn how to cook with my robotic hands. One blessing about the system failure was that I was learning now and not when we arrived at our destination planet when these skills would be needed in a much shorter amount of time. I carried my burnt meal into the stasis room. Merry Christmas, everyone. First Christmas feast cooked on the ship, I said proudly, even though it hadn't turned out well. It would be composted by the end of the day. You should all be glad you can't eat this. It looks horrid. Thirty Christmases had come and gone when Christmas rolled around again. Ord, it's Christmas. Merry Christmas, Ord, I heard George shout out excitedly. It was his first Christmas since I'd been able to awaken him from stasis. Wow, what have you done with the rest of the ship? I've never seen it like this before. Merry Christmas, George, I said cheerfully. I've got Christmas breakfast ready for you. After Christmas, we'll go check the vitals of the ship and the crew, and then we'll have Christmas lunch. You didn't have to do all this, George said. I've been doing this ever since everyone went into stasis. I'm glad I finally get to share Christmas with someone else again. And next year we'll be with even more of the crew. Can you tell me about every Christmas I've missed? Over Christmas breakfast, I filled him in on everything that I'd been doing every year. I would never spend another Christmas alone again, and that I was sure of. 